Building an underwater tunnel is no easy task, but completing the world's largest diameter underwater tunnel in just 110 days is a feat that redefines engineering limits. Spanning 5.8 kilometers beneath the Yellow River, the Jinan Huanggang Tunnel features a staggering diameter of 17.1 meters and accommodates six lanes of traffic in a double-decker design. Situated 30 meters below one of China's most challenging rivers, the tunnel's construction is a testament to advanced technology and innovation. The underwater portion alone, completed in record time, showcases the capabilities of modern tunneling machines, achieving speeds of up to 18 meters per day. This project isn't merely about breaking records, it's about transforming transportation, easing congestion, and paving the way for a more connected future. But how did they overcome the immense geological and environmental challenges to achieve this engineering marvel in such a short time? Let's find out. This is Megalith. Please subscribe and never miss an update on the best mega projects. Jinan, a city of over 9.4 million people and the capital of Shandong province, finds itself split in two by one of China's most formidable natural barriers, the Yellow River. Known as China's sorrow for its devastating floods, this massive waterway has shaped the region's history for centuries. Stretching over 5,300 kilometers, it's China's second longest river, notorious for its volatile currents and thick sediment. But for Jinan, the Yellow River is more than a geographical landmark. It's an obstacle that has long hindered connectivity between the northern and southern halves of the city. As Jinan expanded, so did the demand for faster, more reliable transportation. The existing bridges did their job, but they were struggling under the weight of the city's rapid growth. With major economic and trade zones emerging on the northern bank, traffic congestion became a daily headache. And then there was the ever-present risk of floods. Bridges spanning the Yellow River had to contend with its unpredictable surges, raising concerns about long-term stability. The city needed a solution, one that could withstand the forces of nature while meeting the needs of a growing metropolis. There were two options on the table, another bridge or an underwater tunnel. A bridge would have been the easier, cheaper choice, at least at first. But would it be the right choice? The Yellow River's destructive history made it a risky proposition. A single catastrophic flood could threaten the structure, not to mention the environmental disruption caused by construction. Instead, city planners turned to a more ambitious, long-term solution one that would sidestep the river's fury altogether. Enter the Jinan Huanggang Road Yellow River Crossing Tunnel, an engineering marvel designed to redefine urban mobility. Stretching 5.8 kilometers beneath the river, this tunnel isn't merely a passageway, it's a game changer. With a double-decker structure and six lanes of traffic, it promises to transform how people move through Jinan. For the first time, residents of Jinan will experience seamless connectivity between the two halves of their city, even during adverse weather conditions. Moreover, the tunnel is expected to absorb 7.4% of the city's total traffic volume, offering much-needed relief to congested roadways. By linking the urban south with a developing northern trade zone, it will also play a crucial role in driving economic growth and enhancing regional integration. But how did engineers overcome the immense challenges of tunneling beneath one of the most unpredictable rivers on Earth? The answer lies in one of the most advanced tunnel boring machines, or TBMs, ever built, the Shanhe TBM. This is no ordinary machine. It's a behemoth engineered to overcome extreme geological and environmental challenges. Picture this, a structure as tall as a five-story building, weighing as much as 500 elephants, and stretching the length of 16 buses. That is the sheer scale of the Shanhe TBM, an engineering powerhouse built to tunnel through the unforgiving terrain beneath the Yellow River. But size alone wasn't what made it remarkable. Its cutter head, boasting a diameter of 17 and a half meters, placed it among the largest TBMs ever constructed. And when it came to speed, this machine was in a league of its own. Capable of excavating between 15 and 18 meters of riverbed per day, it shattered records, completing the underwater segment in just 110 days. An achievement that set a new global standard for tunnel construction at this scale. Traditional methods like drilling and blasting would have been too slow, too risky, and simply not up to the challenge. Instead, the Shawnee TBM streamlined the entire process. 
As it bored through the riverbed, it simultaneously installed concrete linings, reinforcing the tunnel walls in real time. This eliminated the need for post-excavation stabilization, saving both time and resources while enhancing safety. It wasn't only about digging, it was about precision, speed, and structural integrity all working together seamlessly. But how did engineers ensure the TVM operated with pinpoint accuracy beneath a powerful river? That is where cutting-edge technology came into play. A telescopic camera system provided real-time monitoring of the cutter head, allowing engineers to make adjustments without manual intervention, reducing downtime and significantly improving worker safety. This was especially critical in the high-pressure environment deep beneath the riverbed, where precision was non-negotiable. One of the most critical features of the Shawnee TBM was its automatic air cushion system, which maintained pressure within the excavation chamber. This ingenious technology effectively balanced the forces exerted by the water and soil, preventing collapses or flooding even under the river's immense hydrostatic pressure, which could reach up to 7.5 bar. The technology ensured that the TBM operated in conditions that would have been impossible for conventional machines. But that's not all. The TBM was also equipped with a robust flushing system designed to clear debris from its cutting tools. This kept operations smooth and uninterrupted, even as the machine cut through some of the toughest materials in the world. But what about the waste? How do you manage millions of cubic meters of excavated material while maintaining environmental standards? The project team found innovative solutions to this challenge. The TBM's conveyor belts efficiently transported the excavated material to the surface, where it was processed and repurposed and a pioneering hydraulic slurry pipeline system ensured the waste was handled in an environmentally friendly manner. Meanwhile, the filter press system extracted water from the slurry, reducing its environmental impact and ensuring sustainability at every step of the process. Yet the most impressive feature of the Shanhe TBM was its adaptability. The machine was designed to operate under a variety of geological conditions, cutting through a complex mix of clay, silt, sand, and calcareous nodules. Its ability to maintain performance despite frequent changes in soil composition made it uniquely suited for the Yellow River's challenging terrain. This versatility ensured that the TBM could perform consistently and efficiently, regardless of the obstacles in its path. With all this advanced technology and engineering precision, the Shawnee TBM set a new benchmark for tunneling. Its success not only ensured the timely completion of the Jinan Huanggang Road Yellow River Crossing Tunnel, but also showcase the potential of next-generation tunneling machines and handling large-scale, high-stakes infrastructure projects. So, with all the innovative features and cutting-edge technology packed into the Shawnee TBM, how does it compare to other tunneling giants? While the Shawnee TBM undoubtedly stands out as a marvel of engineering, it's not the only giant tunneling machine to leave its mark on infrastructure history. Machines like Bertha, Martina, and the twin Monklap Cook TBM have all played critical roles in pushing the boundaries of tunneling technology. Take Bertha, for example, a colossal machine deployed for the Alaskan Way viaduct replacement in Seattle. With a diameter identical to Shawnee's at 17.5 meters, Bertha's mission was nothing short of ambitious, creating a double-decker highway beneath one of America's most densely populated cities. But not everything went according to plan. Shortly after beginning its journey, Bertha encountered an unexpected steel pipe, which severely damaged its cutter head. This setback led to a two-year delay and over $200 million in additional costs. However, despite the obstacles, Bertha ultimately completed its 2.7-kilometer tunnel, showcasing the potential of large-diameter TBMs and in urban infrastructure. Bertha's journey was undeniably slower than Shawnee's, highlighting just how crucial it is to design machines that can adapt to the unforeseen challenges of tunneling in complex environments. Now let's look across the globe at the Twin Monk Lab Cook TBM, another record setter used to connect Hong Kong to its international airport. Slightly larger than Shanhe at a diameter of 7.7 .7 meters, this machine was built to withstand extreme underwater pressure, up to 5 bars. Equipped with advanced robotic systems, it could automate cutter wheel replacements and debris removal, ensuring precision and safety. Yet despite its advanced technology, the twin Monk Lab Cook TBM took years to complete its project. Shanhe, on the other hand, tackled a similar challenge under the Yellow River in just 110 days, thanks to its superior design and efficient excavation process. How does such a feat become possible? Well, it's all in the details. 
Chani's streamlined approach outpaced even the most sophisticated machinery. Then there's Martina, tunneling giant used in Italy's mountainous terrain for hard rock excavation. With a diameter of 15 and a half meters, Martina was smaller than Shanhe, but still a powerhouse in the tunneling world. It played a crucial role in the construction of the Sparvo Tunnel as part of the A1 highway project, linking Bologna and Florence. While Martina successfully navigated the challenging geology of the Apennine Mountains, its focus on hard rock excavation made it less versatile than Shanhe, which was designed to handle diverse materials such as clay, silt, and sand. Another noteworthy machine is the Caucasus TBM, designed to tackle the rugged geology of the Greater Caucasus mountain range. With a diameter of 14.9 meters, it may have been smaller than some of its counterparts, but what it lacked in size, it made up for in raw power. With a thrust force of 22,600 tons, it was more than capable of tackling the high-altitude tunnels of this mountainous region. However, despite its impressive capabilities, the Caucasus TBM wasn't quite suited to handle the unique challenges of underwater tunneling where the key issues revolve around pressure management and debris removal. So what sets the Shani TBM apart from these giants? It's its ability to perform at unprecedented speeds without compromising on precision or safety, even in the harshest environments. Equipped with a telescopic camera system for real-time monitoring and an automatic air cushion system for pressure balance, the Shani TBM excels where others might struggle. Its ability to excavate 15 to 18 meters per day far exceeds the daily progress of many large-scale TBMs. While each tunneling machine has unique features, the Shawnee TBM's groundbreaking performance under the Yellow River represents a significant leap in tunneling technology. By combining speed, precision, and environmental sensitivity, it has set a new standard for large-scale infrastructure projects. The question is no longer how tunneling will be done, but what the future of high-performance machines will look like. So with all this innovation in tunneling technology, how will the completion of this tunnel impact Jinan? The completion of the Jinan Huanggang Tunnel will transform transportation across the city, reducing travel times and alleviating congestion on overburdened bridges. It will connect urban and developing areas, creating a seamless flow of goods, services and people, driving growth and economic cooperation. Expected to absorb 7.4% of the city's traffic, the tunnel will improve residents' quality of life. The project sets a global standard for infrastructure with its innovative construction methods, including the Shani TBM and sustainable waste management. The tunnel symbolizes China's leadership in infrastructure, marking a milestone in urban development and pioneering future solutions. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on notifications for more exciting content.